Hi, my name is Dr. Ross Hauser. Anyone who follows me or the practice of prolotherapy is going to really enjoy this video. I recently have had cervical radiculopathy. You can see that when I flex my neck, there's plenty of space for the nerves. But when I extend my neck, the space where the nerves come out in the cervical spine, you know, get it gets very, very narrowed. So that's what was causing my pain down my arm. I have cervical radiculopathy that's worsened or brought on when I extend my neck. So the method to document this that I used was called digital motion x-ray. So I've been a patient, you know, I've been a patient. This is my second episode of cervical radiculopathy. Right now I'm about 80 to 90 percent improved. I don't have pain down my arm anymore. I still have a little bit of neck pain. So this is actually my digital motion x-ray before prolotherapy. And you could see that the facet joints in the cervical vertebrae are gapping. In other words, there's space between them, indicative of cervical radiculopathy uh, caused by cervical instability. There's excessive motion at several of the vertebral segments. This is after a few prolotherapy visits. I have more space in the cervical uh, foramina where the nerves come out uh, when I extend my neck. By no means am I cured, but that's why some folks need six visits of prolotherapy and other folks need three. Like in other words, I'm my cervical vertebrae are stabilized, you know, 80%, but I obviously want them 100%. The pain down my arm is basically vanished, and I am back to swimming and exercising full out. This is my digital motion x-ray after three prolotherapy segments. There is some stabilization, but I there obviously is at the you know C3 to C5 area still some instability.